There is one software tool that has by far been our most used tool over the last year. We, in fact, it's one that I check probably 50 times a day and it is 100% replaced our Amazon Seller Central app. And that tool is called Sellerboard. And so Sellerboard is a real-time profit analytics tool that will show you pretty much down to the minute how profitable you are overall and also at the SKU level. So it's really helped us make really smart decisions as far as which items we wanna replenish based on the profitability according to seller board. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how we use it in our business and exactly how I think you should use it in your business as well. And if you're interested in taking seller board out for a spin yourself, then there's gonna be a link in the description of this video for a 60 day free trial, which is more than the typical 30 day free trial that you would get just through signing up your web, uh, through their website. So before I get into the bulk of this video, if you wouldn't mind taking a second to like the video, be sure to subscribe for more and then leave a comment as well, especially if you use this tool in your business and if you've gotten benefit out of it too. So without further ado, we'll jump right into the Sellerboard tool. So when you log into Sellerboard, this is exactly what your dashboard is going to look like. Now, yours might look a little different because your dashboard is going to have every single product that you carry that you sold in the given time frame. So in this case, I'm looking at a 30 day time frame, but I'm only looking at this specific ASIN only because we have our supplier name in our SKU. So if I were to show you all of our products in our normal dashboard, that would be giving away all of our suppliers, which I obviously don't want to do. So we're going to look at just this one product, which we have an exclusive on. So I'm not worried about anybody poaching it, but this will give you the exact breakdown of how the dashboard looks. The only difference is your dashboard is going to have all of your products on it. So the one thing that I love about Sellerboard in particular is the ability to look at custom timeframes and look at profitability at either the SKU level or your entire portfolio level at any given time. So in this particular case, we're just looking at this one ASIN and I have my view set to show me my profitability today, yesterday, the last seven days, 14 days and 30 days. And so Sellerboard has a bunch of default views that you can use to determine which date ranges you want to look at. So we default to this one, like I said, uh, and you can also choose a custom range as well. So if I want to look at one particular ASIN, for example, and I want to see how profitable has this one ASIN been for me, let's just say over the last year or maybe last year in total, right? You can set a custom range to see that exact number. So in this case, um, what I love about Sellerboard as well is the ability to give you just real time profit analytics. And so when you see like net profit here, this is actually our gross profit because we don't have our operating expenses inputted into seller board. And so anytime you see net profit here, just keep in mind that that's gross profit. And so for example, what this is telling me is that, all right, on this particular ASIN, if I click yesterday, so we sold, we see where six orders for this ASIN and there were six units bought. So that means that, you know, just each order was just for one unit. No refunds. Uh, we only spent 10 cents on PPC advertising for this particular SKU because most likely it was from our auto campaign, which spends very little. Uh, we're going to get a payout of about $300 just yesterday from this one product. And then again, our gross profit on this one product yesterday was about $63.15. And what I always like to do is I like to click into this more tab right here because it's going to show me my margin on this product. So if I click more, one, it's going to give me a breakdown of every every piece of income that came from this product as well as every expense. So I can click into the Amazon fees and see that, okay, the only Amazon fees I paid on the specific ASIN yesterday was the referral fee and then the fulfillment fee, right? I've got my cost of goods and then I see I made about $63.15 in gross profit. Uh, which was about a 13.16% gross margin, okay? And so this margin number right here is what I pay attention to more so than any other number because every single day as I'm looking at our gross profit analytics, I just wanna keep an eye on our margin and see, okay, are we within our margin targets or was there something that threw those targets off? Either we had a large number of refunds that day or uh, a lot of times the Amazon fees will show anytime you're paying Amazon for prep, it takes into account inbound shipping costs. Like seller board really takes into account every single possible fee associated with your products. So you really can't hide from your numbers, numbers in seller board. And that's why I like it. And that's why it's replaced our seller central app. Because when I open up the seller central app, sure, I can see all, I can see my revenue for the day. But if I paid, let's say $500 in inbound shipping that day, 
well then my profit's gonna be way lower than I'd probably think it is, and seller board is going to take that into account, whereas your seller app will not. And so the other thing it's able to do, like I said, since we're just looking at this one SKU in particular, each of these date ranges is only gonna show us profitability information for this one SKU. But if you just go to your normal dashboard and you see all of your products displayed there and all of your sales over a given time period, what you can do is you can come over to this info column right here and click this more tab and it's gonna show you the profitability analytics at the SKU level for each one of your products. So again, since we're only looking at one product here, these numbers are gonna be the same. But what it looks like, if I click on more, it's just going to show us the same information where uh, right now we're looking at just yesterday. So on a one day period, it's gonna show us our sales, our number of units sold, any advertising costs if we incurred any, any Amazon fees. And like I said, the good thing about Sellerboard is that it takes into account inbound transportation. It takes into account labeling fees when you're paying Amazon to label your products. So this gross margin number right here is going to be incredibly accurate, if not 100% accurate. And again, if we look at the last 30 days, so I like to look at each product on a, a seven day, 14 day and 30 day rolling basis to know uh, whether or not it was, it, let's for example, if it was profitable today, but over the last 30 days, maybe it's been returned a bunch. Well, yeah, maybe it was profitable today, but over the whole last month, it wasn't due to returns, for example. So that's something that this particular time frame will show us. So again, if we look at over the last 30 days, this product accounted for $7,228 in sales, uh, a payout of about $4,280, again, gross profit of about $966 in the last 30 days on this one SKU. And if we click in to see the margin, see the margin at about 13.37%. Again, this is a gross margin, not a net margin. So Sellerboard really gives me all of the information that I need to one, see how profitable my products are. And then two, I base my replenishment decisions on this information. And I cannot tell you how many times I thought a product was very profitable because I'm looking at my Seller Central app and I'm seeing that we're selling multiple units every day, right? But what Seller Central app does not tell you is refunds and inbound transportation costs and all the other costs associated with the sale of that product. And there are many products that, like I said, according to the Seller app are selling great, but when I look at the product on Seller Board and I look at the history of the last, say, 30 or 60 days of that product, well, maybe it's only a 2% margin or a break-even product because when you factor in returns and all the other costs associated with it, it's not profitable. And so Sellerboard has helped us really cut off a lot of products that we thought were profitable that actually weren't, that helped us free up our cash flow for much more profitable products. And so again, Sellerboard is a tool that I've used. Uh, we've used it for at least a year now. It informs all of our purchasing decisions, especially our replenishment decisions. And it's insanely cheap for uh, the value that you get from it. So if you're interested in taking Sellerboard for a test drive out yourself, Take a look in the description below in this video, I'll have a link for a discount code that will actually give you a 60 day free trial as opposed to just the normal 30 day free trial that Sellerboard offers. So thank you so much for watching. If you watched this far, uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter as well, at Ganim Corey. And thank you so much for tuning in.